I discovered my second respiratory system. <laughs> That's right, I was breathing out my... Uh, experience of uh, this event especially is the most gruelling thing that I've personally ever done. Some of you are going to get blisters, no question. Some of you are going to have sore limbs, no question. But you're going to have some fantastic laughs, I promise you. And you're going to have the most cracking memories, I promise you that. Enjoy yourselves tomorrow. And if I may, I'd like to wish you all the best of good fortune and thank you from the bottom of my heart for the difference that your contribution will make to the members of mine and our army family. The reason I'm doing this event is to, um, for a charity, you know, um, ABF Ch Soldiers Charity, because they're doing great work, you know, helping the veterans and soldiers. motivate a group of individuals that are obviously out of their damn minds. <laughs> a group of individuals that are going to walk 20, 30, 50 miles plus when there's a bar right there. Everybody tells me it's easy. They're not here this year. <laughs> there's, there's such a great atmosphere here at the, you know, at the hub and then as, as you, you head off, the first 20 miles tend to go really quickly. Um, the, the, the atmosphere, just the, the chats, you meet groups, you pass groups and vice versa. I'm looking forward to walking in the Scotland, Scottish Highlands and, uh, and seeing the, uh, meeting new people and seeing the landscapes and the views and everything, so I think it'll be really good. It's a sense of, of freedom and, what's the word, kind of wholesomeness that you get. I like the sense of journey by covering long distances. just gives me, I guess, a mental health balance, um, physically makes me feel good, and to be outdoors, I think we were designed to be outdoors. Um, so yeah, I just love it. Physically hardest, I would say, is that hill, the first one, yeah. to be honest. Steep? Uh, yeah, I would say it was steep. First one, gets the legs work, working the heart rate up, didn't it? Just keep going, keep going at your set pace. Don't, don't rush off, because if you rush off, you're gonna, you're gonna burn out. You wanna keep at the pace and keep at that pace all the way around. I just try and get to the, the next part too quickly, uh, because I just want to get it over and done with. We walk at about 3.2 to 3.3 miles an hour and once we kind of hit our stride we just keep ticking along like a metronome. As we found out uh, by the first year you're all very keen and you're all wanting to get going and the first uh, bronze and all you think happy days and you're thinking god I'm doing this very quick. You get good support from the locals giving you cups of tea, plenty of ice creams along the way which is good. And there's great food stations every so many miles, so six or seven miles. All the checkpoints were well done, well run, and um, you're unfed and you're away in no time again. I've always kind of just broken up into really small bits so just getting to the next water stop just getting to the next checkpoint and every time you get there you get lifted with all the amazing volunteers and people cheering you on and 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 a smile on the face and, and then you head down go for the next bit when it comes to uh, having a prosthetic and and moving the way I look at it with any disability it's gonna hurt no matter what it's gonna hurt and if it's gonna hurt, I might as well move as fast as I can for as long as I can and ensure that the pain is there for a reason. And that's just how I keep going and try to pass the next person in front of me. Well done! Good work, yeah. Good. Woo!
get them wrapped at all opportunities and get plenty of water in as well as you go round. Key stuff. You don't want blisters on this sort of thing. The the interglenchy into the bronze bit that the, the hill coming up before you come into the bronze stop. That's probably the, the, the toughest bit in terms of physically. And this heat and unfitness has just beat me. The, the, the last leg there, it's just because it's a long, long, just gradual slope. It, it wouldn't be too bad, but it's just the heat today. It's really, you know, it makes it hard. It's so hot all the way up. There's not a lot of wind and it's, it just drains you, you know. But. On a scale of 1 to 10, 10 being hard and 1 being easy, yeah, where is this? This is, is about 9. <laughs> 9. It totally underestimated it. It's, I thought, I've, I've, I've run marathons and I thought if you can run a marathon on the flat you can run over hills but if you don't do any training for hills you ain't going to get anywhere. It's controlling your brain. I don't think it's about your stamina or your strength or anything. I think it's about controlling the brain and just keeping going. That's hard work. A good mental attitude is what gets you through this because there's parts in this yomp that makes you reflect. Camaraderie and the people who got me around and helped me, not only in my team but other teams, it's just one, everyone here is one big team. So I think it's a tough event and um, it's, it's because it is so long that your muscles will hurt, there will be pain, um, you will feel like you've had enough at times but yeah, it's, it's, it, anyone can carry on walking, it's just whether you've got that mental strength so it's just challenging in that way I think. Sometimes you just got to get your head down and crack on. Taxing, enjoyable, uh, painful, delightful. Yeah, it's been amazing so far. It's been really tough today because of the heat and just thinking how far you've got to go. Um, but you've just got to keep remembering why you're doing it. And Worst day ever. <laughs> I didn't expect to be this hard, but yeah, I definitely, definitely feel it in the feet and definitely feel it in the legs. But um, I think the sun in Scotland was a factor we didn't take into consideration. Um, obviously, with, with walking, you've got sort of three different planes. So you've got um, sagittal movement forward, you've got frontal movement where your body twists and you've got um, transverse movement where it moves in this plane. That's why we have muscles which are right around our legs and right around our feet um, to keep us moving in all three planes. Um, and when our muscles get tired, like when we've been doing the yomp, um, some of those muscles are shorter, some of them are weaker, um, and some of them um, decide that they're not going to work as well. You're only coming to the bit where people are feeling punished. Yeah. <laughs> so physically pushing past that pain and tiredness and wanting to give up. Um, but hopefully the camaraderie of others and helping support others and them helping support me will get me through. I get lower. <laughs> so I start, just start <laughs> stooping. Start going down and down as I get more tired. It turns into a bit of a stumble. <laughs> I thought it was going to be a lot more flatter, but there's uh, some really uh, hilly parts and the downhills are really killing the knees at the moment, but you get some uh, Jaffa cakes and a cup of coffee, which is all worthwhile. Well, if your feet go, you can't walk, so <laughs> game over. Job done, isn't it, Robbie? Most of the things we're doing is to do with blisters. <laughs> Difficult. 
if we're stopping for any length of time, the start and might again. be a bit of a yeah. challenge. Your bottom lip goes a bit of a whinge, but you just get on with it and you're all right, yeah. But we've got a good bunch of lads and the morale's still there, so we'll keep the banter going, we'll keep the crack going and we'll just keep plodding on. It's a, it's a team thing, like being in the forces, it's always a team thing, so you, you, there's going to be somebody feeling low at 30 and they'll be alright by 40 and it's somebody's turn, turn to be low at 40 and you pick them up. So. When you get to the silver, your mentality changes, you're tired. You sort of think about what you've been through and what your friends have been through and it makes it more important um, mentally. So it gives you that drive, whether you physically can't do it, it gives you the drive to, to do it. So once I got past silver, uh, going through to gold, it was just tiredness absolute tiredness. Feet were killing, mental, just like we just wanted to go to sleep. There's a lot of mental challenges. Physically, it, it's just tiring on the legs. And then mentally, it's that leaving the silver, knowing that you've got the rest of that bit left to do before you know the, you hit the early morning part. You just sort of engage zombie mode, really. Don't think about it too much. Just focus on the next, the next water stop. So, and you just break that down into times, so, and that's, it should be about two hours to the next stop, so just break it down into 20 minute intervals and just chop them down. How we deal with that, well, it's just looking, looking ahead and just putting one foot in front of the other. Then it turns into night and don't know where you're going, you can't see anything, you're tripping over tree roots. And then that's when it gets a bit, diff a bit difficult, right, so. Uh, disorientating, yeah, because you don't actually know where you're. You can't judge distance very well, so the, so therefore you're you're in a position where you don't really know how far you're going, and that's really demoralising. So you just have to keep following the lights, keep following the, the silence all the time. But but you get there. And then when you break into the night time bit, when you know you've got to get through the night to get to the next morning, and you want to get that 24-hour bracket, then it plays a little bit on the on the sort of mental side of it. Everything's aching, um, I'm tired, but you've got 10 miles left to go, so you just got to keep pushing through. It's been rewarding, but my feet are in uh, absolute agony. But I just had a look on maps and I know I'm not too far away now, so I'm on the home stretch, get in bed, and have a nice car with me. Oh, very, incredibly. very. Yeah. We underestimated it. It was very yeah, challenging. I thought we'd done so much preparation, but not for that. Not prepared us, not prepared us <laughs> that for that. Hard. That's, that's intense. That was very, very difficult. The last five miles felt like about ten. Uh, it was horrible. Broken. It's one word I'd use to describe no, no, no. I'm broken. And then speaking to both of you. Yay! <laughs> it's like the perfect mix of misery and and like euphoria. It's just there's there's no words to describe it. Like my friend was trying to describe to me what it was like before, and none of it even comes close to describing what the what the pain is like, you know, you just can't get, you just can't understand it. Um, that last 10 miles is just pure grit and determination and just morale, pure morale and whiskey. <laughs> um, yeah. One foot in front of the other and just keep going, basically, I think.